Right on the bottom. Great. So we're going to label 2025 there. Nice job, Deontay. Good. How long is this side? Oh, we got it there, Tierra. What did you put here? 12. So how long is our next letter? What is Tierra say? Why did Tierra say 12? That's where C is. Good. So the bottom is 28.5? 28.5, and then 12 right here. Now, let's figure out what is our length from C to Q. So where does C start, and where does Q end? At 19, good. So now the question is, what is that length? So if I have a value of 19, and I have 12, how can I find out the actual length or distance between those two numbers? Uh, yeah. What should I do with that? Okay. We're looking at our graphs. You're right, you're on the right track. I'm asking you, if you want to see the visual on your paper, how far away is this from this? What's in between the two? And you can even count out the spaces. How many spaces are in between the two? What'd you get? Seven. Good. So right seven over to the side here. So now our length is seven. Okay. Now I'm going to look at my length. So we just did this. Our length is seven. Now I'm looking at my length from Q to B. So how far away is Q from B? Huh? Go ahead and count that out and then let me know what you find. Okay. Yes. Sure. So what you guys are doing is you're counting out the length from Q to B. So how far away are these two points? Then, once you have that length, start by finding the length of CA. So start using the Pythagorean theorem to find this one, okay? Yep, that's B. This is A. And this is your C. Okay. All right. So you're finding the Pythagorean, you're the Pythagorean theorem to find this length right now. two legs, how do we find the third leg in a triangle? Okay. So those are my two legs. What am I going to do with Deontay? This is where you can jump in. Okay. So we are now looking for our length of AC. What are we going to use? What does your example show you that we are going to use here for these two lengths? Yeah. 